Wow. Wow. Yeah. That was something. That was beautiful. That was good. That was beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Future builder. Future builder. Yes, sir.
Ouais. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that how things normally start when you sit down with someone? <laughs> person sometimes stay silent and then you go after a period of just looking at each other and smiling serious laughing breath you go yes sir and then they say something <laughs> well I just see you take the lead a lot in general in terms of the flow of things yeah yeah I'm also very down to have other people take the lead of the flow when it's going in like a really good trajectory for beautiful play between humans and Throughout time, I'm like, great. So when you hold space, sometimes it's like, no silence and just like a spirit to spirit meeting beforehand. Sometimes there's none of that. Sometimes there is that. Sometimes the person may right away just say something about what they want to talk about. Sometimes it may take a really long time before something's said. Mm -hmm. Is that about 
because you do the space holding. Yeah. I've been asking myself that question for a long time now. Why are we here? That one? Yeah. So I took it to the abstract one, which I love that question. <clears throat> why humans are here on the planet, but why you and I are sitting here in space that's being held by you? It's exploration. Exploration. of non-repetitive states of consciousness, of very unique, deep explorations of the psyche, of the spirit. But you're already good, aren't you? <laughs> no, I don't know myself. I think anyone that says that they know themselves hard to say that one knows themselves fully. <sighs> and I have a bunch of things, especially from like when you're born into the world and even before that, all the ancestral stuff that happens with your parents and their parents and their parents through you. And then when you're born, you don't even know anything that really happened to you until you were a couple years old. So a lot of things got laid into me that I'm not that aware of. So we could potentially see what, what what's there. I like being closer to your eyes. I feel like a little kid sometimes. I love it. It kind of reminds me of Alexia. The little spirit kid. Great. Okay. Just felt a lot of like, like sadness about being a child and just missing it. And just a lot about the children growing up today and what they're experiencing. It feels really nice to see it emote like that. Feels like a gift. Thank you. We move really fast on the show. There's not really space for this. So it's nice when there is space for it.
Alan Sakyan cry? Yes. I love these feelings. You do? <laughs> I do. <laughs> They're unique. They're novel. They're non-repetitive. When does your spirit get so moved by an emotion like that? Rarely. Yes. Hmm. We're sitting here feeling together. <laughs> yeah. 26 year old hairy grown <laughs> men leaders men. Yeah. Humans. <sighs> feeling together. Such a beautiful thing. Slowing down enough in the craziness of the economic machinery to just be. Yeah. Thanks for leading the way with uh, emoting today. I felt a lot even right after that. Well, I don't want to share. Don't that I want to share. Oh, that you want to? Yeah. Please. I love seeing you like this. Good. I love feeling it. There's space for it. Yes. Yeah. What I felt is that the innocence. Your innocence? The innocence of spirits when they're first brought into the world. And how unready some parents are and how aspects of our society don't necessarily always enable the young innocent spirit to fully realize itself. so much about that.
the forgetting. It's been a big fall from grace, forgetting that we come from creation, from mother, from spirit, from nature. That's what they say. Yeah, and feeling it is it does feel that way. Here, brother. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love you too. seen you like this. <laughs> I don't think I've felt it so much before because I'm so frequently just intellectualizing about the subject. <sighs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure that's a frequent thing that Ori hears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm always thinking about it, but I haven't felt it so deeply. <laughs> 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 oh, if people are willing to go there. Yes. Yeah. Oh. You serious? 26 year old Alan Sakyan, <laughs> commanding leader, just breaking down here. Yeah. Out of love. Yeah. So. And being totally happy with that. Yes. And being with it. Yeah. Thanks, Rod. Thanks, Rod. And what is it that is holding back our leaders of <laughs> the world from doing this? Well, um, what will people think? What will people think of us? The first thing that came up is th the fear of being perceived as weak. That's the first thing that I, th that I feel that many people, that we've built a society up on that. That's the reason why we won't share these vulnerable, beautiful moments. It's, uh, can you imagine the presidents of countries sitting here like this and just like, like, like having emotional deep depths, exploring them like that about their 
families, about their upbringings, about children. <laughs> That's the remember. That's what mother would want us to, to be harmoniously and consciously living with each other and the nature that we reside in. <sighs> yes. Yeah, like, um, hmm. how do you feel? I feel like I'm just watching. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like just watching like, what is going on? <laughs> Damn. Kind of humbling. Like, yeah. That's how I feel about our world too. Just this humble little spirit coming through and just just feeling and watching the world but why could you feel so much without even being on anything without even being on drugs like yeah that's a great question it's so it's such an important one Like, not everyone knows that this level of love is, like, available yeah. or sane. Yeah. And doesn't require mind-altering substances. Exogenous substances. It doesn't require it. It's yeah. all within our ability to get to these levels of love. And it's so profound, so unexplored. There was a really good way of putting it recently, which was that you can go to any corner in metropolises and order food in from any ethnicity in any way or style that you want but why for something as OG as so baked into our human evolution the social emotional relationships between each other is there no ubiquity in metropolis is for you to just go and say hey, I'd like to order some blank. And then with this specific style from this specific ethnicity, etc., and be able to just sit down and be with someone that can help you with that social emotional aspect. Or ultimately yourself. Yeah. yeah. Holding space for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Forgetting about that is sad. But it's a challenge. So I like both feel really like sad about us forgetting about the importance of that. 
but I also feel like whew, rise up to the challenge. That is why there is the challenge because it's supposed to be hard. We came to forget and play in the mud. And we remember. That's what they say, and that's what it feels like. It's totally what it feels like. Where does one even start with thinking about their ancestors and what they experienced and what you then carry and also what you picked up from your first couple months and years of life. Where does one even start mm. to, to say that, oh, that I'm what I am now and that's, that's that and I will, <laughs> I will shield off everything and carry myself this way. That's like forgetting so much of the point of life to bring those walls down to remember how complex who you are actually is and to be able to be willing to dive into that yourself through sincere deep self-work and also to have the space for bringing other people into that yes and sharing it feeling together Yes, I like what you said about yourself because that's the most important relationship. Yeah. And that's who you gotta be truthful with no, no matter what. And then at first there's a skillfulness to who do I wanna share my heart with, right? Like when I started opening to my grief and stuff, then it was like, Okay, hang on. Some friends, maybe some family, do I wanna share it to my coach? Probably not, you know, so it's, it's, there's a skillfulness, but yeah. with yourself, we can become more truthful in this world. We can build more clarity. <sighs> we can unravel our parts. We can undistort our love. We can integrate our pieces. <laughs> I love it, Ori, I love it. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> so well said. <clears throat> There's a... Um, Something that you mentioned, I think, is so important is remembering that as we start undistorting this love, that how we decide to share with who we decide to share, how we decide to share, is very important. All it takes sometimes is one person to say, Oh, that's so lame. And then you, from your f perspective of wanting to feel and share and open up, can just close you back up. Yeah. And the opposite's also true. That you can share and then someone can... Can validate. Validate, yeah. And then you're forever healed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> transform. The opposite of trauma, you know? So... But it all starts with self-sensitivity. Yes. You talk about nature, you know, being sensitive to life. We ha and we are a piece of life. So building sensitivity to ourselves is the spiritual path. 
said, building sensitivity to ourselves is the spiritual path. Yes. Getting to know ourselves. Yeah. No matter what that looks like. It doesn't matter if it looks insane. If we're insane, we should... I mean, insanity is enlightenment. Hmm. But we need to get it out under the light to be witnessed and integrated and understood. So then we're a walking, integrated force of nature. <laughs> I'm just feeling it again. Oh. I'm f- uh, yeah. Yes, you're doing that very well tonight. <laughs> It's a sensitivity to both how much I want to more deeply go into these spaces, help others go more deeply into these spaces <sighs> with their sensitivity. I just make it so that the, the streets of our world are filled with more of these sensitive yes. spiritual beings. Yes. Yes. Now, one might wonder, what if I'm practicing becoming sappy? What if I'm becoming that way by feeling. This is very good point. Yeah. And my experience is that's not the case. It can be if you actually do that. If you start saying, hey, this is this feels really healing. I'm gonna try to grieve a lot. Then yeah. But if you're just aware of your body, of yourself, and within the flow of your life in your reflection, your journaling, these things do arise, then you're processing, you're shedding, you're integrating, Mm -hmm. Mm. and you're becoming a pure, less distorted vessel for us. And you can show up more cleanly, more clearly for others. Most of the quote unquote a hole a holes that we encounter in our lives that get under our skin, they're just in pain. Yeah. Yeah. And so when we get to know and be okay with and feel and process our pain, we can show up differently. And our footprint, quote unquote, becomes greener. Ooh. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a MC rap Ooh. battle and you're just like, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I just like had to hug myself because that uh, was so, you know, that was so warm and yeah. <sighs> but I hear that. Oh, <laughs> damn the greener essence are as we move through the world it's more positive the aura is more abundance it's more sensitive and the people that aren't feeling that usually that haven't dived into those depths are like you said in some sort of a pain or some sort of a trauma or have never even went there and know that that even exists and then just live on the surface of emotion instead of in the depths of emotion and i think the point you made about sappiness is really important because you can be on either 
side of this deep end, let's say. You can either be on the side of where you've never, ever, ever experienced any of the deep, vulnerable, beautiful emotions and tapped into what your ancestors have felt, tapped into what you yourself have felt when you were young, tapped into any of those traumas or any of the pains. But you can also be on the other side, which is where you just constantly live in that all the time. Yes, there's a skillfulness to it. So there's a skillfulness in both diving really deep into those and then coming back with like things that you've learned. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the skillfulness of knowing how to share and who to share with, how to hold space. Yes. And so I've told people like step one, like I shared, is knowing our truth, being honest with number one, like that truthful relationship with yourself. That's step one, you know, so like journaling and getting good at encapsulating your heart, you know, if I meet a girl that I like, maybe I journal and I get really clear and sometimes it might be really like soft and innocent, like. I hope we can be friends like oh like that captures literally like how I'm feeling like I just feel like that child and then that's step one like capture your heart be truthful with yourself know your heart. step two is then you can play with it to meet the situation maybe I'll send off a text with exactly that or maybe I'll alter it by sensing into it there's a skillfulness maybe this person hasn't done as a lot of this sort of work and so it won't land in a healthy way. That's so, so true. Yeah. When, when if, if, if one has done a good amount of the work and then someone else has not, that the messaging can be lost. I want to even say, even before know thyself, or maybe together with know thyself as the most important things is also just know the true essence and embodiment of how beautiful it is to even be alive to be here in creation itself is enough mm. Mm. and with that know yourself mm. so like those two principles like roaring together if everyone was carrying those two principles, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And like you said, yeah, craft, the craft of the, of the message may be altered due to the, how many accolades the person has from going deep into their own selves as well as other people. we need to do this more we need to do this more we need to share this more we need to make this cool we need to make this mainstream yes <laughs> to talk about this wisdom with influencers yeah yeah can you imagine if we had some of the influencers sitting here to unpack the, the depths with how cool could they make it really quickly? But it's also fun doing it at the grassroots level, too. Yes. Yeah. But we need to make it, we need to win the wisdom race. The, the amount of technologies that have the capacity, that have been democratized, that have the capacity to be malevolent, we have to level up our wisdom really fast. And so by making things mainstream, like holding space, we can level up our wisdom faster. Yes. But what influencers want to do this? What influencers want to talk about it? I've been thinking about that. It'll take a little bit of time to... Because if you're already yeah. killing the game as your shtick, 
Well, what game are you really killing is another question. What game are you succeeding at? You're succeeding at that surface game. But have you succeeded at the depths game? Because if we show that there's a whole nother game that hasn't been explored that you're not the master at yet, <laughs> it can maybe incentivize people but to go. Uh, masters, if people have mastered something, then why do the, nobody likes becoming the, the student again? Only if you're inspired. Yeah, and also just that how how boring does it become if if you embody that mentality of never wanting to become the student again to constantly be a student of life has such a deep meaningful fulfilling purpose and so if you yes. if you ever just say i've already mastered it i'm just gonna for the next 60 years just chill it's like mm, you know there's more there's more things to master don't you want to go and explore those? Social, emotional intelligence. There's nothing more epic than a path of accelerated healing and growth. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that was well said. Nothing more epic than a path of accelerated healing and growth. <sighs> we can make this popular. If ever, then I guess now, I guess today. Things are shifting there. And we haven't even gotten into, that was just one little piece of it. It was just being here and, and just being with each other, feeling together. And then finally we got to something within me about feeling the little spirits that are coming through the world and then being able to figure themselves out that that brought forth what it did for us and that was just that that wasn't even going deep into oh who we're my, unlimited we're unlimited who our parents are who their parents are who we are how they influenced us who we were when we were just born into the world where we were living at the time what was our birthplace where was it what did we absorb when we were there well this is the mind i people think of a mind as some abstract like thinking thing but i see it as this web of like real parts mm. there are these like chords and energetic dynamics and they're an ecosystem we live in and so we can garden it we can nourish it we can discern within our garden and cut some weeds and yeah now that was a that was a great one that's so okay let's let's feel that together do we really just have thousands of flowers in our garden and that's it hmm probably not we probably have some weeds in our garden. We probably have some soil that hasn't been getting much water or attention recently. We probably have some, sometimes we may only have just patches of the same flower. We haven't diversified our garden with other flowers. Yeah. I like this one. This is a good one. It's a good one for the synthesis. I'll remember that one. It has a lot to do with that. 
with having the right nutrients and then being able to flower really good fruits it has so much to do with that. I love that. Let's make this cool. And let's make it easy. So it can be as easy as identifying maybe five people that you th think could be a good fit for this type of a thing in your network and then, and then asking them to do it. And being really vulnerable about asking them to do it. Maybe you say that you want to share something. Maybe you say that I want to hold space for you to want to share something or just see what emerges. But And you can start really simple when you do get there of talking about people's childhood or people's relationship with their parents or who they are. You know, who are you really? What is your purpose here? And that in itself can open up like a, oh my gosh, why haven't I asked that question to myself in the last month, six months, year, two years, 10 years, ever. And that can open up so much good stuff. So let's popularize that and then also get it more. Influencers start hearing these things more, these leaders around the world start hearing, holding space. Why is that so cool? Why have I haven't, why haven't I heard of it? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold space. And I'm gonna put it on my social platforms. I wanna do it too. Yeah. I wanna feel that. And they all, they're all raving about feeling. They're not even using any drugs. I wanna feel like that too. They look blissed out and loving. <laughs> And they also can channel all sorts of other energies radiantly. Because they've cleaned out the muck. Yes. We become a better channel for our own purposes when we clear out the muck and also we can then become a channel for so many other mm. yeah. a superconductor superconductor ah. there's like every setting is an energetic equation and the energy is shared mm -hmm. and so if you're clear like it gets interesting. You have the capacity, if you're clear, to deal with the energy equation in ways that are fluid and they're dynamic. And balancing. Balancing. Mm. Balancing the energy. Versus when you have muck, it's almost as though whatever's happening in the energy equation that First of all, you're not really perceiving the energy equation yeah. because you have muck. And next is, there's really, it's really hard for you to engage with the energy right. equation. It can take you out. Can, if you have yeah. triggers, if you have triggers, you're it's, gone. It's over. You're compromised. You're compromised immediately. Something <laughs> happens, you get triggered, and you're not even in control. You're behaving. Yeah. You're good at this. It's only coming out of me because you've practiced it so much and you're here with me sharing the feeling. And I think we're able to co-create some cool takes on, on this. Yeah. It's also good for the science geeks that humans together are an energy equation and you have to be cleared of the muck within yourself to be able to 
engage with the energy equation. Yes. I like that. It's really good. Yes. Maybe you can think of a... <clears throat> you could maybe even think of a... If a person is a... You can think of a variable. The person is a variable in the equation. And if the variable has a lot of other complicated arithmetic around it, it's going to be really hard to engage with the mm. energy of the, of the group. But if your variable is very clean, the arithmetic is very clean, it's easier to engage with the yes. equation. Yes. You can kind of see people carrying a lot of arithmetic around their variable and versus being completely clear and clean. Right. And then what you get to do is live an epic life because you're going to be putting on and taking off a lot of costumes. And that's fun. Ooh. While knowing that they're costumes. And that's why we're here. And <laughs> we're here to come play in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Those, those costumes are... They're some of the most fun ways to play. And uh, another, I think, easy way to for people to remember is that when when you when you when you when you talk to someone that we're such mirroring creatures that we like to mirror and so if you have a big wardrobe of costumes you can more easily mirror people and build rapport and emotional connection with them yes if we have just a small little closet that only has one or two costumes there's so many costume possibilities and it's harder for us to connect to people there's something exciting about becoming decorated. Mm -hmm. Becoming a decorated king or queen of yourself. Integrating and exchanging in relationship with people and just holding all the energies. And then you become a decorated piece of life, a nuanced piece of life. And you have a repertoire and you become a rainbow. Ooh. Okay, we are these <laughs> we are these avatars. We come through spirit into this world to play, to learn in the school of life. And when we do things like decorate our avatar with more uh, costumes, learning. learning. We've learned how to put on different costumes. We've learned certain accolades that we can apply in our life. And it becomes easier for us to engage with other spirits that are in their costumes. No matter what costume they're wearing, no matter what accolades they have, if we've at least had training, open, honest communication with ourselves about who we are, which costumes we've worn, which accolades we've gotten, which ones we haven't. To me... The ultimate inspiration of a human is someone who's, deck and this changes for other people, right? But for me, I get so inspired by people who are really de decorated and have also done that, that inner healing work. So they're like very pure, open, humble. Don't think much of themselves, but then they're super decorated. So then- I love that. Yeah, so I think of like sad guru. But everyone has their own, like, people that speak to them in this way. And even Mama Nui Juan is another great example. So yeah, he's a king, and he's, like, in, rooted in nature. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, so, so I love that. So can you become... So one of the ultimate challenges is as you become more and more decorated with costumes, avatars, uh, accolades, all these different things, can you maintain a degree of humility and love and compassion selflessness service can you because if you do those two things together are such a beautiful expression 
The flowering of a human. Yes. There's been so many good little bits of wisdom from this, Ori. <laughs> This has been really good for the synthesis. Let's make this popular. Heard that everyone, make it popular. Gave some good action items on how to do so. Ori Shapiro? Yes, sir. How do you feel? Um, mm, meaningful. <laughs> Me too. Feel like I could still you know, dive deep into all those feelings at the beginning, but I also am very whew, mm. moved, you know, moved to to make moves. Interesting. Yeah, you know, that's that balance again that yes. you mentioned. Yeah, we're not stuck in either of the polarities. Yeah, isn't it interesting how? After you brought some emo some juicy emotion into the field, and we felt that, how we were able to riff afterward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not stuck in either of those polarities. You live in the interval. You live in the interval. You can ebb to a polarity, experience deeply. Ebb to the other polarity, experience deeply. Yeah. You can move yourself between all of the costumes, between any of the energy dynamics, any accolades that anyone's yes. wearing. If you can, that's mastery. Yes. And not just one costume. Well, I've mastered this one costume. Yes. Exactly. And it's inspiring to see, for people to see that, that that's real. Yeah. It's inspiring when we see examples of that. Humble examples of that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Damn. And that acts as a big role model for a lot of kids and adults. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I felt that. I feel good. I feel really good. I feel alive. Shall we? Shall we wrap? Do we have other thoughts that yeah. we want to share? Um, life process that we are you know we have a lot of constipated lives happening become a life process constipated and muck mucky not clear but yeah. to clear that 
and to there's the muck in the system in the nervous system and then there's the muck in the web of chords yeah that's great that's two and by clearing the muck within ourselves we slowly help clear the muck in other chords oh yeah in our world chords that aren't serving you can't stick around once you start clearing your system out because then you start feeling the density of them so and you have to become discerning in your life yeah which chords are a little too mucky yeah and which ones are clear and empowering and that you can provide power to yeah those were good um analogies throughout also just action items throughout just that's a great way to move forward just make a make a short list of a couple people that you want to try holding space with and go and hold space with them and explore conversations of knowing yourself them knowing themselves well i that's i love that and i have a group on Facebook that I'm just starting off called Group Explorations. Yeah. And so, sounds good. <laughs> we'll put the Group Explorations link also in the bio for those that want to check it out. And that can be something that people eventually do themselves too. They can get really good at tapping into this, clearing their own muck, helping other people clear muck, and then be able to do group explorations. That's when it gets epic. That's when it gets so epic. When we share the healing and growth process yeah. with other humans, there's nothing richer. Super rich. And we evolved to be able to dive deeply into these. And in many ways, they've been obfuscated lost and obfuscated so let's remember let's bring these back and forth all right good Oh my gosh. I love you. <laughs> Future builder. Future builder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>